This is the Raging Cajun Lash LaRue, and we are in Chattanooga, Tennessee, on the beautiful banks of the river. And this is a shout out to HumbleSoul.com. Uh, Rick Flair is definitely at the top just because he came, he had such longevity and uh, longevity as a main event guy and he thrived whether you're talking about uh, when things were regional and you had to travel all over the world the hard way and defend the title in every small little territory and every small little town and make the local guys look good or he thrived on the national stage. Rick Flair was always Rick Flair, so he's at the top. Dusty Rhodes is at the top for creativity. Come Hulk Hogan's at the top for crossover appeal Come on, because man. he made it mainstream to where people knew that Hulk Hogan was a household name, whether you were just a wrestling fan or not. Uh, the Rock's up there. Stone Cold Steve Austin is up there. Um, let's see, is that five? That's about five. Well, I mean, every business is going to evolve. And, uh, you know, wrestling business is no different from that. Um, I would say the biggest difference is, is that there's no competition, no real big competition right now for the WWE. Any business thrives off competition. The more competition there is, the more creative everybody's going to be. And the more creative everybody's going to be, the better the overall product. So That's now really they're, true. yeah, now people that go to a WWE show or go to WrestleMania, usually they're going to see the big production that is the WWE. They're not going because they want to see D-Rock. They yeah. want to see Stone Cold Steve Austin. That one big headliner that just draws in the crowd. It's the product overall that draws in the crowd. Hmm. It's smart from a business standpoint to make sure that WWE always does really good business. But it's not great for the rest of the wrestling. Hmm. We, we, we. But I, I played football in high school. I wrestled in high school. I won a state championship in football. I won a um, state championship in wrestling. And I never got hurt. I was one of those kids you couldn't hurt. I was just Teflon. Everything bounced off of me. Mm. And then when I started wrestling, even though it's entertainment, there's so much impact involved. You're still hitting a hard surface. You're still hitting your head. You know, you can pull a punch, but you're still hitting a hard surface. Somebody picks you up and slams you down. And that's where all the concussions come from. You don't have an off season like other sports. There's not time for you to heal up. Uh, it's, it's 300 days out of the year, you're on the road. So when, when all that stuff just kind of accumulates. If you're a, The Rock and you're a uh, main event in WrestleMania, you may get a million dollars for that one match at WrestleMania, you know? Uh, if you're starting out uh, and you're the you're the first match out at WrestleMania, you may get twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 for that one match at WrestleMania. You know, it just depends on where That's you fall on the card. and It depends on how popular you are. <laughs> How big the venue is. How big the venue is, exactly. Uh, WCW probably winning the tag team titles with, uh, with uh, Chavo Guerrero and Sydney, Australia. He was a great practical joker. He, he loved pulling, uh, pulling pranks on people. We were riding in the car one night and about 3 a.m. we stopped at the truck stop and the guy in the front seat was absolutely asleep and Kurt went inside and talked this trucker into coming out and getting in front of us with a semi truck. And then we stopped, honked the horn, flashed the lights and pulled the horn and the trucker pulled the horn and it looked like we were about to crash in head, head, uh, head on into one another. And the guy in the front seat just lost his mind because he thought we were really going to be in the next. Wow. That's kind of stuff that Kurt would do. It was hilarious. You have to build yourself up first. I mean, you've, you've got to figure out what you're going to be, how you're going to be it. you got to look the part before you can be the part. Um, and then you got to make your own opportunities. They're not going to come out calling you. I mean, you can't sit at home and wait on the phone to call, for the wait, wait for the phone to ring, and think that Vince McMahon is going to give you a call and, and ask you to come up there and try out for him. you got to try to make your own luck, so to speak. No, man, that's absolutely it, man. Uh, just always uh, always pursue your dreams. As cheesy as it sounds and as trite as it sounds, the people that never get those things done are the ones that stop trying. Just never stop trying. 